all in front of them, the Pitt Panthers, despite what we've seen so far, despite that loss to Notre Dame, which I thought was their, probably their best first half of the year. They're three and four, but they have a chance still to win the Coastal. This is what Kenny Pickett said they wanted to do, could do. This is what Pat Narduzzi guaranteed them to doing. So, Paul Zeiss, can they win what it takes to win the Coastal at this point, and will they? That's the question for you. Well, here's the thing. I mean, if you look at the ACC Coastal and the teams in that division, if, if Pitt plays the way, especially defensively, they played against Notre Dame, yeah, they can win five games in a row. The problem is we've seen no uh, indication at all and no evidence that they can string together five really good performances in a row. So, I, I mean, I would say probably the odds are not very good in their favor. Uh, nor have we seen anything, Paul, to indicate that Kenny Pickett is what some fans wanted him to be in advance of this season. Uh, after what they saw at the end of last season. I, I think Pitt wins two to three games tops the rest of the way, and no, they don't win the division. Yeah, I think there's two or three losses in the future still when you look at a schedule that includes Virginia Tech and Miami. Uh, and I think at Watch the end Watch those of will be the games they win, though. <laughs> probably, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I think at the end of the season, we're probably left with, you know, a five and seven. Maybe maybe they get lucky, uh, you know, six and six and get a bowl bid somewhere so they get the extra practice time in. But I think, point being, at the end of the year, we're going to be sitting here saying, what is this team still? Do they have the quarterback they need in Kenny Pickett? And there's still a lot of unanswered questions. There really are. And here we are. They have an opportunity to get this done, but they have Duke coming up here. That's never been necessarily easy for them. That's on Saturday. We'll take a break, come back, and wrap up tonight's show right here on the number one Cochrane Sports Showdown.